Well, folks, welcome back to another action-packed episode on the Volkswagen Passat we call the Schwag. No, I'm kidding. This is not about the Volkswagen this time. It's about Dale. We're having troubles with Dale. Stay tuned. So even though this is not a video about the Volkswagen, I want to insert a clip that basically shows that we got this thing finally running. So I'm gonna put that right here. So we finally figured out what was going on. It was out of time a little bit. When I was adjusting the uh, tensioner here, it was moving this cam back a little tiny bit. So the whole time we're cranking, it's out of time. So we kind of realigned it, got it set up again, and now we're hoping it should start. Those lifters should quiet down here after a little bit. And as you can tell, it runs and it runs very quietly. And uh, the initial part of the timing was where the no start was coming into play. You see, every time I would tension the belt, it would roll the cam back a little bit. And that's where we were having trouble. We finally got that figured out. And uh, nevertheless, Got it timed perfectly, it started right up. The lifters clacked away for a little bit and it quieted down. The Volkswagen is back together. I've been running it for the last couple of days and it's not skipped a beat. Today, we're talking about Dale and well, why he's actually parked in the shop. And it's not because I want to be driving the Volkswagen. Let's take a look. So on Saturday, I was out for a drive and I started noticing a little bit of a noise, and at first I thought it was an exhaust leak. Then it became very reminiscent of the first time I broke a rocker arm. So tonight we're going to tear into the valve covers and take a look and see how many, or which one, seems to be the issue. So let me get this tore apart, and uh, I'll bring you back when we find out which one's bad. Okay, so we've got all the bolts off the valve cover. We're getting ready to pull the valve cover. Um, I'm noticing a great big bump right there in the valve cover. And that tells me that cylinder number five is the culprit this time around. So let's get that cover off. And sure enough, we've got one rocker that's broke, cracked, connecting rod's still there, still kind of looks straight, but the other connecting rod is missing. I do see some metal bits. Let me grab the magnet. I guess that's just a clip off the throttle that came off when I took the valve cover off. So we'll just snap him back in place. That's one small piece. So this is the one that's actually broke. This one's not actually broke, but the push rod's gone. Probably inside the valley. Probably means we gotta take the intake cover off again. 
Dag nabbit. So I don't know if we're going to be lucky this time to be able to fish a broken push rod out with a magnet like we did last time. My concern now is not just the push rod. It's the lifters. How badly did we damage the lifters when um, when that let go? So, anyways, we're gonna leave it right here for now. I do know that I've got to order a bunch of new rocker arms, and I know that you guys, in the last time, the last video when this happened, um, you were saying that things were too tight, and that you were saying that. Uh, Maybe some of the studs were pulling out. I mean, looking at them, I don't think the studs are pulling out. I don't know that for sure, but we are going to get to the bottom of it. Um, it's mighty frustrating. I thought that I had an isolated problem. And as you know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, at old car guy, you'll know that I made a post just last week about getting over 3,000, almost 4,000 miles on this truck since we built it and since we had really any major issues. And so how is it that we go that long with no issues and then all of a sudden another rocker arm again? I'm of the belief that it's an isolated incident because we are using old original parts. So from here on out, um, new rockers, new rocker retainer nuts, and washers and new push rods for sure but i'm thinking that that intake has to come back off again um, so i'm not sure if that's going to be this video or if it's going to be a different one but nevertheless that's where we are dale is down and out not sure if it's for the season yet but uh, it'll probably be at least a week week and a half to get all the parts because everything obviously comes out of the states being in Canada and with COVID going on, it's hard to get parts in a timely fashion. Anyways, I'm going to end this video right here for now. Um, it may pick up again, it may not. Either way, you're about to find out. Well guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope uh, you're enjoying watching the uh, series on the Volkswagen and now we're kind of back into Dale the Truck stuff again. Not that I wanted to be, but we'll be waiting for some parts as Dale is down for the count for a little while. So. We're going to find something that uh, will entertain you guys and one of the things that we want to be able to do is get the rear axle swap on grandma so that'll be an upcoming video very soon so i hope you stay tuned for that the car guy and six fan show as always is on thursday evenings between myself and grant tommy who is straight six fan i'll leave his link right there as well as in the description box below you can head on over there and subscribe to him because we alternate hosting the show every other week and we have a lot of fun. If you're into cars and you like watching car videos, well, you're going to be interested in joining us for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show Thursday evenings at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 local time. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon. But then it rained episodes. Not episodes. This is where we are. We're going to be waiting for some parts, so Dale will be we're waiting for some parts and Dale will be down for the count. <clears throat> Can't even talk.